Well, things are not going our way completely. We're up there. We're definitely going to be promotion challengers. But we're not keeping as many clean sheets as we probably should with the team that we've got. Let's get into today's episode. Hello and welcome back to another episode. And as you can see, you th things aren't going very well. Not at all. Um, since you were last with us, which was somewhere up here, we've be drawn with Bradford. We've been destroyed, and I mean destroyed by Blackpool. We have bounced back with a win in the Bristol Street Motors against Leeds under 21s, and we have beat Colchester, who I believe are quite far down the table. Um, Colchester are... Yeah, they're bottom of the table. And we are still second. Somehow. I, 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 I don't know how. I really don't know how. I think we had such a good start, and I was there thinking, oh, this is going to be... This is going to be easy. We won our games against Grimsby and we lost to Wigan the Kabara, where then we beat Bristol Rovers. And then we just went on this great little run here. Then we had these back-to-back -back games against Swindon and Blackpool. Blackpool, who are down there, and Swindon, who are down there. And everything just wasn't making sense in my head. We, I think we've added a few players since we last spoke. I don't know exactly... If we have an eye, it's been a while since I've been looking at this game. So we've added in Jose Marquez on loan. He looks like an exciting uh, talent. Although Jose Marquez, not really a Spanish name. And not really a German name, should I say, in truth. We also brought in Trey Nioni, who is here on a free. He's played for Liverpool. That's how I knew of him. He hasn't really managed much, but he has had championship experience. So I thought, we'll bring him in. Josh Motion's doing well. Uh, Chiak has gone back to his parent club because we've got Anthony Varon, who is our starter. And Matt Reed and Quay are the other two players that we have brought in. And yet we... we I, I, I don't know. Like It's been... About four days since I last opened the game. So I really do not know what is going on. We're back to get today for the game against Bristol City, who are in seventh. You know, 24 at the top and 2019. It's still, it's a very, very tight league currently. So let's get into this game and let's see what we're dealing with. Um, let's make sure that we are playing the football that we need to be playing. We are, that's all fine. So, our team for this game is Varon in goal. Is that what he wants to play as? I'm actually probably going to change him to sweeper, keeper on attack. Rosonka, Riddle, Douglas, Quay, Wilson, Marquez, Holloway, Palmer, Winter and Arnold. And then, let's have a look at anyone that we want to potentially bring up. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to give Trainioni a chance in the team, and he really wants to play as an attacking option, which is fine with me. We're going to give him a chance. I don't know how many games he's played for us, because, again, as I say, four days is a really long time between recordings, and like, today I will record, hopefully, about nine videos, just so I'm not far ahead. I've got next week's videos also done, or seven videos something, seven, eight, nine, something in that region, just so I am far enough ahead where I'm not having to worry about anything over the weekend other than my other passion. And so to Arnold, Arnold brings it down, and Daniel Arnold has scored. He has been ruled offside, and that's a little bit annoying, but, yeah, so I can focus on my other channel and my other things going on. I like to just try and bulk record my football manager videos. And we, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. If I'm being honest, like that loss to Blackpool really threw me. And Rosonka has picked up an injury. We will bring on Lawson in his place. Yeah, the, the loss to Blackpool absolutely threw me head, and then the loss to Swindon straight after threw my head even more. But we've just got to keep on. Moving forward, Mbete from Man City, I believe. Ball over the top. We've been caught here, and it's off the bar. 
And Veron does very well to get a hand on it. We need to calm that down. Neoni now, and it's gone out there. Now that's that's a little bit of a worry. Maybe we are a little bit too far forward, and we have lost the ball there. But it's going to come back, and Douglas is going to pick it up. Douglas gets it out to the wing. Wilson now. Wilson through. Arnold has a shot, and this time it's not going to be taken from him. It's 14th goal already this season. He is our wonder kid. He is Daniel Arnold, and just like that, we are 1-0 to the good, and everything just makes sense again. Everything makes sense. Uh, Bradford are drawing with Oxford United, who are 17th in the league. I think this is a very competitive league. Like, the fact the 22nd is only 17 points off top after 13 games, where normally you'd expect them to be more nearer than Colchester, barely picking up any points whatsoever. It is a very competitive league. And if you look at it, Huddersfield, I think Bradford, Lincoln, Bristol City, Watford, not Wimbledon, I don't think Wimbledon, in real life are, you know, have been Premier League and Championship teams. So this league is filled with former Championship teams. Like Bristol City is a Championship team, and that is awful. And Hansen RN, the guy we went for, but didn't get Nata, phenomenal save by Varon, who has got a target to keep 20 clean sheets this season. And that he's showing the value of a good goalkeeper right there. Showing the absolute intrinsic value. Douglas now to Winter. Winter to Marquez. Marquez through. Oh, I think he's offside. I think he was offside there, yeah. Arnold, he's got to get a little bit better spot in the line, in my opinion. And how are the other games going on? Bradford are winning... And this would mean that we start to just pull a little gap to Chesterfield. Burnley as well to Portsmouth. Barnsley, uh, Blackpool, just absolutely filled with teams. We are going to now make some changes, I think. Um, who do we bring on? We bring on Holland. We bring on Bartlett for Douglas. We'll bring on, I'm going to have to move you out my way so I can actually see the screen. And they have scored. Holloway for Neoni. And no, we're going to leave it like that. We're definitely going to leave it like that. And I don't know why why it's, it's done that, but okay. We are one all. We have missed that goal, unfortunately. Um, yeah, okay. Things are not looking too good, and that's that's a yeah, that's a red card. Surely he's going to get sent off for that. Uh, Quay, what's Quay going to do? Pick the ball up. We're drawing. Wilson, Wilson to Lawson, back to Wilson. Wilson through. Arnold's there. I think he might be offside. I think he's offside. Is he offside? No, he's not offside. And that is a phenomenal goal. Let's go back now. No, I didn't mean to click on his name. I wanted to watch the goal. Um, can we watch the goal? So here's the goal. Uh, Fat Vichanti. And we just... Yeah, it's just a very poor goal to concede. Very, very poor goal to concede. And we have won the game 2-1. A high line. I might have to bring that line slightly back just to help us out, but we do manage to win. We do manage to stay in contention to win the league. We don't want to let Bradford um, get too far ahead of us. Rosonka's out. That's not the end of the world. We are going to be back for the next match against Burnley, so it's a big, big match. See you then. The games come thick and fast, and straight away, three days later, we are thrusted into a game with Burnley. We are going to make some changes. We don't want. We want to make sure that everyone stays. Bring Elise into the team. We want to make sure everyone stays fit and ready to go. So Marlow comes in. Holloway comes back, and we bring in Elise on the right hand side for the injured Rosonka, who will be out now for I think about six weeks. Now I'm just going to once again try and reposition you so you. So I can look at you a bit easier. And we're doing... I wouldn't say we're on a good run. We're on 
a run, and we've kept, I think, three clean sheets now in our... No, no, we didn't keep a clean sheet in the last match. We've kept two clean sheets out of three games. But these are... This is a, this is our biggest test, and I would happily take a draw in this game against Burnley. Arnold is going to whip it in. Puts it in, and it's out. It's back in, though. It's back to Elise. Elise, just pass it now. Marlow. Marlow to Douglas, Douglas to Quay, Quay is gonna, he's just gonna run, Holloway, Holloway, great little touch, Quay, Marlow in, it's off the post, oh, it's off the post, not what we wanted to see there, Bradford City are winning, who are they playing, they're playing Bromley, who are 8th in the league, so a big, big game for the top of the table there, Huddersfield not playing right now. I'm guessing I guess Huddersfield played later, maybe tomorrow, maybe on TV. Who knows? But we are... It's, it's been a boring match, hasn't it? This has been a proper Burnley match. They have done absolutely nothing. They have done nothing whatsoever. So maybe we need to just go a bit more attacking... Um, Douglas now was going to put the ball into the box, and that's a penalty. It's a penalty. He shoved him in the back, and just like, we do have the penalty. Who is it? It's going to be Arnold, I'm guessing, that's going to step up for us. Arnold, can he deliver? No, he can't with one of the worst penalties I've ever seen, and that is going to sum up our day, I think. Holloway puts it in. It's back. It's over the bar this time. It's over the bar this time. Oh... We're having all the chances, and you know what's going to happen. They're going to go up the other end and score. That is what is going to happen here. And it's Piconi to Moffat. Moffat to Metcalf or Metcliff. Moffat puts it into the back post, and then what did we say? They're going to go up the other end and score. It was just one shot, one goal. The Burnley way. Douglas, we need to respond. Can we respond? Ball, back post, it's off the bar. And it is played out, right? We're going to just... And now Holloway's got injured. Marquez will come on. You're just going to go for it. Don't really want to lose, especially when Bradford are losing too. We really do not want to lose this. So we've got a free kick. Arnold's going to step up. Arnold whips in. It's in! And Daniel Arnold comes to the saviour. Salvin cannot get there. And we are one all. What a goal by Arnold. And it is so, so deserved. Ball is now out. Can we go for the winner? Elise. Elise. He's still running. He's, still, he's going to run the entire length. He passes it back though to Arnold. Arnold to Marlow. Marlow over the top. And it's now with Douglas. Douglas to Marquez. Marquez, fresh legs on the pitch. To, back to Douglas. Come on, let's move about a little bit, people. Marquez to Marlow. Marlow across to Riddle. Riddle takes his time. And the oh, Lee side isn't watching. And they are now into the box. They put it back. They. Th Just speechless. Just speechless. Absolutely speechless. No other words to describe it. Utter, abject, horror. We are being FM'd to the maximum. Quay. Nero, now you're... Oh, he's hit the bloody post now. Ball across. When it's not your day, it's not your day. We have been absolutely FM'd. And uh, I'm not happy at all. I'm really not. We've hit the bar. We missed a penalty. 
They had two shots, two goals, and have robbed, robbed a victory there. So, because this league is really close, I don't really want to go too far into the future. Ipswich are 11th, Bolton are 5th, Sheffield are 13th, Huddersfield are 8th, Portsmouth 23rd. When do we play some of the title contenders? Uh... Not really a run where we play anyone. So, what we'll do is we will come back and I'll show you Bolton, who are in fifth, and Sheffield Wednesday, who are in 13th. That's where we're going to come back for. Well, this league is certainly going to be a frustrating one for us. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like, share, subscribe as always, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye for now.